I don't think anyone will argue that if you have a really diverse compost pile where you have, you know, maybe some twigs, some fruits, some uh, weeds that you've just weeded, some dry leaves, and you mix all of that together, you probably will have a very good compost. The reason for this video is to analyze or to describe the value of these materials that you're putting in. So these figs, these fig fruits, are heavy, super heavy. So they have an incredible amount of weight to them. And they ferment really differently than something like this, these weeds, or, or these leaves. This will ferment a lot more, leaving a lot more energy behind. So what I'm getting at is that depending on what you compost in your garden, you're going to get a different quality compost. And I can explain it with another example. So uh, 20 bags of chicken manure here, and uh, you're supposed to let the uh, chicken manure age. But what we noticed is there was a chemical process going on in the bag where these bags were literally on fire. That's how hot they were. You couldn't even touch them. They were so hot. And that is a disbursement of energy. What that means is that that chicken manure, even though we couldn't really put it on the beds right away, was losing energy from that decomposition that was taking place inside the bag. And it's very similar with this. If this starts out with, with more energy in it than this, what that means is that this will give more energy to the compost. Okay, so I have two different types of leaves. These are completely dried out, and these just came off the tree. So, when you're composting these two different materials, let's classify them as different, even though they're the same leaves. This one has lost, let's put a number to it, let's say 75% of its energy doing, due to it turning brown and drying out. This here, let's say, since it's been picked for one hour, it's at 95%. So let's say we make a hole and we basically bury both of them completely and cover them up completely. So what happens now is the green will provide more energy to the uh, compost pile than the brown wood because the brown has already lost some of its energy due to being uh, burnt by the sun or oxidizing or whatever it may be. But the green one will give this area more energy than the brown one. So that's a very simple experiment. If this is 10 times as heavy as this, the material density will give the compost much more energy. And uh, when you compost and bury something that's green, like I showed that example, you're trapping more energy compared to something that is like, it's completely worn out already. It's got, you know, a lot of the energy is gone. So just remember, if you can compost heavy things that are very quick to rot, fruits, uh, your, your compost bin in your house, whatever it may be, if you can compost that, you will get a better value energetic value in your compost but it is also very important to have as much diverse material as you can to create your compost pile let's say you have a compost pile that is just pure leaves the the diversity is missing in that if you have leaves from different plants you might be more successful with getting a really high-end topsoil out of that so this idea that you 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 try your best to get as much of this heavy material in your compost. Um, you know, even other items like leaves from uh, comfrey, whatever it may be, just make sure that you get this diversity happen, happening. And if this could be your main focus, these two things, you will have a much stronger compost.